All right, y'all, I have some thin sliced pork chops and they actually have a little bone in them. That's not what I intended to get, but we just gonna make it work. That's okay though. I think bone, the bones give them more flavor, right? Isn't that true? I don't know. Anyways, all right, pork chops, thin sliced pork chops at the bottom of a 9 by 13 with a little bit of olive oil. All right, y'all, now here I have some, I have some cooked stovetop stuffing. All right, I made a package a little while ago. So we're gonna take some stuffing and put it on top of each pork chop. All right, I have my little ice cream scooper here um, because why not? I like using it. It makes fun shapes. Shapes are fun. Math. <laughs> okay. Um, so this recipe was sent to me by Lisa. So I thought it was a great recipe and I decided that I want to try it. Um, I actually think, you know what, Lisa, we're just gonna put the rest of this on here, all right? The whole thing of stuffing because stuffing is delicious. All right. So a nice thin layer on top of our pork chops. Next, y'all, I have a can of peaches, okay? Uh, uh, yellow peaches, orange. They look orange to me more than yellow, but um, I looked for cans of peach halves, but I couldn't find any, so this is what we got. So Lisa said, put a half a peach on top of each pork chop. So instead of that, we're just gonna do a few slices, all right? Now, now I don't even really remember where all the pork chops are, so we're just putting them on, all around, all right? Oops, and we put one, we have to decorate the counter too, so we'll put one right there. All right, I think that's good. I don't I don't know if we should use them all. I can't decide. I think I think that might be good, right, Lisa? Or should we just put more? I wish Lisa could talk to me right now. Maybe I should telepathically ask her. All right, Lisa said that's enough. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to take a little bit of the juice and pour it on top, too. Lisa said do that, all right? And I'm adding one thing that Lisa did not add. But you know what, y'all? I love using fresh sage with pork chops. I think it tastes so good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some sage leaves on top. I love the way sage smells. Do y'all ever, uh, Fred makes fun of me, but you know, do y'all ever burn sage to like get rid of the bad spirits? Do you, Bridgie, have you ever done that? <laughs> Never done it, but I have a candle that's sage. See, so. <laughs> I do it y'all, sometimes I do it. Uh, the other day on the full moon, things were weird, so I saged me and Fred and our whole house and the cats. All right, we put this in the oven at 350 for about 35 minutes, and I'm gonna show y'all a yummy, easy side we gonna serve this with. All right, y'all, I have some asparagus spears. Uh, we're gonna serve this with our pork chops. So we're just making a simple side, but I just wanna show y'all how I do it. So a little olive oil, and then uh, I, I like to mix the asparagus around to make sure they all coated, all right? All right, great. And now, y'all, we're gonna do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. That pepper, that pepper thing's annoying me. A little bit of garlic powder. All right, and then y'all, we're putting a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. This is one of my favorite ways to make asparagus. It's so simple. And I don't use too much cheese, just a little bit, all right? Uh, so we're gonna put, cook this at 350 for about 20 minutes and we'll serve this with our pork chops. Someone was having his daytime nap, y'all. Someone just had his third birthday too. He wants to say thank you for everyone that commented. Yeah, he was a good boy for his pictures, right? You thank you? Oh, okay, he wants to get down now, y'all. You a good boy. Okay, all right. <laughs> Blinky, blinky. He's like, Mama, leave me alone. All right, Lisa, so here we have your uh, pork chop stuff and peaches, and I made some asparagus to go with it because Lisa suggested asparagus or Caesar salad, so I'm excited to try this. Um, one thing I will say, Lisa said to brown the pork chops first. I did not do that, but you can. You probably should. It probably makes it taste better, honestly. So let's put one of those pork chops right here. Let me get another peach. I love peaches. And... Put a few pieces of asparagus right here. And look, I have myself a nice little lunch. That looks good. All right, Lisa, I'm excited to try this pork. Let's see, I should have got enough, but I didn't, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut it with a fork. Um, all right, let me get a piece of this peach. And I'm gonna try and get it. Here we go. Oh my goodness! Lisa, girl! Mmm. Okay. This tastes so good. Me and Bridgie were just talking, y'all. Pork is not my favorite. I like it, but it's not my favorite. Um, Lisa, I think uh, pork might be one of my favorite things now because I'm going to start making your recipe. Honestly, I just want to pick this up and eat it like this, y'all. Y'all should try it.